For the past five years, Hong Kong has been host to an annual mixology event featuring some of the top mixologists on the international scene. And today, we're going to meet some of this year's guests. As the first Korean to nab second place at the world-class competition, Doan Om has a great passion for experimenting with food-based ingredients in his drinks. In fact, he created this one here especially for a Korean customer who wanted to declare his love to a Scottish lady. So inside, you'll find ingredients like Scottish single malt whiskey and Korean red ginseng. Dohan, are there any trends in the Korean cocktail market that you can tell us about? It's now. Uh, now is a Korean trend cocktail, is a classic cocktail. Is a, that is a, a back to the classic cocktail. Like uh, is a martini or a cosmopolitan or a cedra. And uh, the others is uh, making the, is very gentle and uh, very good point is uh, texture. What do you think makes a good mixologist? Best in mixology is the, just in my opinion, is the skill and the attitude. Second up, Takumi Watanabe, one of the best bartenders in Japan. With more than 20 years of bartending experience, his cocktails are recognized as some of the most outstanding new cocktails on the market. And right now, he's showing us one of his award-winning martini with matcha and the Japanese traditional syrup, Kuromitsu. Takumi, tell me about the mixology scene in Japan. Yeah, uh, I feel, and recently, uh, young Japanese bartenders uh, get uh, the job uh, in overseas. The young bartenders get back uh, some information to uh, my country. We can share the information and the uh, other technique and the important thing. The Japanese bartenders care to uh, care to customer. Now, what are some of your favorite ingredients to use in your drinks? Yeah, uh, I like uh, local Japanese uh, ingredients, major ingredients, uh, such as uh, sake, and matcha, and uh, yuzu. I think um, region ingredients best. That sounds yummy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Our third guest today is a talented and beautiful bartender from New York, Natasha David. Now, Natasha worked behind some of the best bars in New York City before opening her own shop earlier this year. Hi, Natasha. Hi. First off, welcome. I know it's your first time in Hong Kong. Thank you. Tell us, what is your bartending philosophy? I think simplicity is key. Um, I think there's a reason that classic cocktails are still around. Um, and if you look at recipes, you can see that they're very simple. Um, and, and I think it was Coco Chanel who said, before you leave the house, always take off that one last accessory. Um, and I believe that the same is true for cocktails. Just leave that last ingredient out. What goes into making a new cocktail and where does your inspiration come from? This might sound a little bit crazy, but I'm very much inspired by moods and by colors. Um, so when I think of something or an emotion, I immediately associate it with colors and then those colors I interpret into flavors. Now Natasha is demonstrating her signature drink, Siren's Song. Shaken and served on the rocks, it is made with light Cuban rum, gin, cream de decal, lemon juice, peach preserves, along with a dash of absinthe. It is certainly a refreshing choice for the summer. Well, that's it for this week's Joche Vita. For more information on this episode, please check out our website. In the coming weeks, we'll be checking out the latest makeup trends, so don't miss out. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.